Did back you on? No! I don't huh? know what to say. Uh. I don't know what to say. It's a couple minutes too fast. I just wanted to be in the last 20. All right, welcome back, everybody. So, we uh, started the boil for 60 minutes. We added our first round of hops. We added our second round of hops. Our nutrient pack was added at the 10 minutes time that we said it would be added. And now we are down to five seconds left in the boil. So, as soon as this hits the time right there, we're done. That's cool, right there. So we're getting, we're getting towards the point where if you have other additions that go in at the whirlpool stage, this is when you would add them. Yep. So we're kicking off the heat right now, and this is called Flame Out. So like flame Tyson out. said, if we had something that said Flame Out or Whirlpool or something like that, another addition, this is when we would add it. Other than that, we just killed the heat, and we're just going to let it chill for a second. Stir it around, let our late Flame Out additions kind of hang out and do their thing. And how long are we going to just let, let, let it chill here for? For us today, not very long. For <laughs> we have lots of ice. <laughs> but I meant like if we did have a flame out. Addition. If we were, if I was you at home, I would leave this set for at least 10 minutes, if not 15 or 20, just to let it chill down naturally. Um, at homebrew style, I've left beer in snow banks out on my porch in freezing cold temperatures in Lapine. Lots of, lots of, lots of options, lots of things. Some, some guys are actually not chilling their beer anymore. They're leaving them overnight. Really? Yeah. Interesting. It's a little bit risky. You can end up introducing other, other bacteria you don't want and end up with sour beers, which is a nice way to get a sour, but you don't usually like those on accident, so. <laughs> Our best suggestion is to use some ice, get that beer chilled down, improve your chances of an awesome batch of beer. So, mm -hmm. yep. that's what we like to teach you. Yep. Get some ice. Got some ice, got the ice bath ready for whenever Tyson can catch his hot fish. <laughs> it looks like he's got it. We'll let the rest of the water drain out. Like Tyson said, it's a good idea to let it sit here for 10 to 15 minutes, let it chill out a little bit. Um, for us, we've got tons of ice, so we're Wait, just going to go for it. it. And uh, we're leaving the, the spoon in there, the mash paddle, since it endured the whole boil process, so we don't need to sanitize that. And we... into the ice bath. Just kind of slowly move it around, try not to kick the ice out of the tub, and especially not into the beer. You know, it's interesting on ice, uh, we usually think of ice being preserving, but I, ice and the water to make ice has quite a bit of bacteria in it, so you definitely don't want to get the ice, you don't want to use the ice to chill your wort, because it'll just introduce all sorts of stuff that you don't want in there. So we leave the ice on the outside, sanitized wonderful wort on the inside, and there we go. That is the flame out and chilling process. And now Tyson's just sanitizing up the thermometer that's gonna go in there and tell us how warm the water is. And like I said before, um, we're just gonna stir it around every so often. Kind of give a little whirlpool here. Just like that, let it move around. And we are just gonna chill.